created the London Lifestyle Awards over six, seven years really. When I started my PR company, Have Made UK, and we, we were working in the lifestyle sector. I was looking at new bars, new restaurants, new clubs, we was working with theatres, we was working with coffee shops. And I realised that a lot of these businesses were trying to approach the same audience. What I also realised is that the lifestyle industries, the lifestyle businesses in London are the best in the world. We are leading the world and we should be congratulated on that. So I wanted to bring everybody together once a year where we celebrate the best of lifestyle businesses in the lifestyle industry and award them across 16 categories. I think London must excel because there are so many different things to do. I think we have a passion. It's just so exciting and so diverse. I think it's the people. I think there's a lot of people with passions. It attracts the best. It's the cultural epicentre of the world. And, and some really, really mad people. Eating, drinking, nightlife. I mean, it's, there's nowhere else better. I think everybody's ignored London lifestyle, quite literally. Uh, this, this is a, a multifaceted award um, that sort of celebrates everything in London. So the reality is, is you could be a mad chef, hat designer, restaurateur uh, that's got a bicycle shop. There's been a lot of industry awards, but this actually it, it tends to be more sort of for the Londoners. Um, and I'm surprised nobody's done one before, actually. It's good news that this one uh, has actually come out. I think anything that recognises, that, that highlights that, recognising it and supports it, I, I'm, I'm all for that, so, so yeah. I think the London, London Lifestyle Awards is definitely long overdue. I think it's very important to be recognised for what you do, for all the hard work you put in. It's also a very, very important time for us to all get together and to celebrate. Absolutely! I think it's really important that London acknowledges every single factor of contribution to make the city so wonderful. I don't think it's overdue, but I think it's definitely time we started celebrating London as a great city. I think it's really, really good to recognise London lifestyle. In the end, there are so many different categories in there, but also so many people who've spent all their lives really wanting to make a difference in their particular field within London. I think it's very important to keep the public involved. It's the public that uses our in, uh, our businesses it spends their valuable time within our premises and I think it's very fair to leave them to decide on who the best person is. Absolutely wonderful, yeah, very important indeed. Well, absolutely, the public have to have a, a vote. Um, it'll be those sort of unsung heroes, I, I guess, I hope. I think it's very important and uh, interesting to be, you know, uh, be able to do nothing about it, just be popular yes. or not. Absolutely, I think uh, the public are the ones that really acknowledge the small people like us, the charities that work to make this city even better than it already is. I think it's really important for the public to get involved with this because in the end they're the ones who keep the cogs going, they're the ones who buy the tickets, they're the ones who go to Wimbledon and buy the ice cream and also watch the matches, so I think it's very, very important for them to be part of this award. There's a lot to enjoy in London. The art galleries. The West End, I guess. Currently hotels. The restaurants and bars. Because there's a long list. Mayfair and Soho. I love East London, love London, all of it. Different bars, obviously, restaurants, bars and clubs. I live in the East End, so I absolutely love it there. I love going out to restaurants. A great, social, fun city. That is, in my opinion, better than anywhere else in the world.